98 calories for a tablespoon, that's barbaric. I don't rate them when they're cold, but if you heat it up till they're crispy on the outside, this is actually making me so hungry. Hello guys, welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Meg. I do fashion lifestyle videos every single week. So if you like that type of content, check out my previous videos and follow me on my Instagram. It means the world. So as you can tell today, I'm doing an eating related video, which I'm surprised I haven't done like so many because I am the biggest foodie. Like ask anyone, all I do is obsess over food. What's next? Snacks galore. Like really I should be the size of a house, but let's not get into that. Anyway, the purpose of this video is to help those of you that want to do veganuary, but feel like some of the prices are a bit too expensive and when you add everything together it ends up being like 50 pounds and nobody wants that so this is for people that are on a budget and kind of want to know more of the staple vegan things because believe it or not a lot of the things that we eat on a daily basis even meat eaters is vegan and they're just staple things that are in our meals every single day and we don't have to spend a fortune on them and whilst it's obviously amazing that so many brands are releasing new vegan products we can't lie that all of the kind of more processed foods like snacks and things like vegan chocolate vegan ice cream some vegan ready meals are extortionate prices so i want to show you the things that i've bought that i feel like are a lot more affordable my shop came to about 20 pounds and don't worry i have got snacks so I'm going to start off with the frozen food because it's literally all on my bed right now and I don't want it to defrost. So starting with my kind of protein, I'm used to having corn, but the majority of their products aren't vegan, they're vegetarian. Um, so I tried to find something that was similar because corn's the only fake meat that I really enjoy, but these are so good. So these are by Bird's Eye and oh my goodness, like when I tried it, it's probably the most similar thing to corn and it's just a little bit more dense, I'd say, but they're so there's chicken free so then fried strips and then i also got which really excited me <laughs> chicken dippers which used to be my favorite thing when i ate meat so whilst they don't taste just like chicken dippers these again really impressed me if you don't already have a tesco's club card please get one because i found that a lot of the vegan stuff i think because it's veganuary was literally like half price if you have the club card so this was one pound 80 as was this and it just saves you so much money so definitely get one because it is free that's not sponsored obviously i'm not sponsored by tesco i wish Next are the infamous Linda McCartney sausages. I feel like everyone likes these. Like even meat eaters have tried them and really like them. They don't taste like sausages at all, I don't think. Like meat ones, but they're so, so good. They've got so much flavor. Six in there, yeah, so that'll last you like three meals or two, depending how many you have, but these are really good. And again, on offer with the club cards. I'm also going to put up a picture of the vegan pieces in case people want something they can put in their salads because I know not everyone wants to have protein that's breaded. So these used to be at Tesco, but they're not anymore, which is really annoying because I used to really like them, but they're really good for putting in like stir fries or like just anything that you want chicken pieces in. So if you like fish, these are phenomenal. So these are the corn fish fingers, which thank God are vegan. I think their fish fillets are too. I literally live off both of these. I've eaten them for years. They taste like fish fingers. And I'm not even joking, like they have nailed their fish, like it's insane. And obviously that's a meal. So you have your homemade chips, you have your peas, vinegar, vegan mayo, ketchup, whatever. You get 10 in here, which I think is really good. And obviously you can like be greedy or not be greedy and they last you longer, but I cannot rave about these enough. <laughs> okay, so most of us like rice. Rice is usually vegan, which is good because it's such a big staple in meals. So I just get the um, microwavable ones, which are like under a pound. They're really cheap. I think they're like 30p or something. I don't know. But I have this one. And then I also found a golden vegetable rice, which is nice when you want to switch it up a bit. But like so affordable. That's literally four meals worth of rice. Sorted. So cheap. Can't go wrong with a sack of potatoes. So I get like massive potatoes because I just like them. Obviously, these are so versatile. They're vegan. You can have sweet potato as well if you like that. You can make sweet potato fries, sweet potato mash. You can make mash out of these roasties. You can make homemade fries, homemade chips, which I love making this will make up a lot of meals and you can have them in a lot of different forms so it's great that they're vegan another carb staple is pasta um i do have quite a few different shapes of pasta but i've just picked up this one i always thought that pasta would have egg in it but fresh pasta tends to because it's like fresh egg pasta or fresh egg noodles most of the ones that are in like long life packages are vegan obviously you can double check and a lot of the pasta sauces like tomato and basil tomato and garlic sun dried tomato tend to be vegan so good news we don't have to eat our pasta with just oil and veg 
bread. For some reason, I thought I wouldn't be able to have bread because I was like, surely bread has milk or egg in it. Turns out a lot of breads don't have those in it. Luckily, the one that I literally eat all the time, like daily, is vegan, so I'm so happy about that. Although I wouldn't have mind switching it up like bread's bread. Um, but yeah, this is just the Wolverton's Danish one. It's so, so good. And that brings me on to toppings for your bread or your toast. So obviously we can't have eggs and the vegan substitution is tofu. The reason I didn't get tofu is because I think it's really expensive and I understand why it is, but I just personally don't think I'd like tofu. So I'm not hopping on the bandwagon. This is the whole reason for the video. I don't want to show you just traditionally conventional expensive foods that are vegan. I just would rather not have egg and just have a different topping. Like it's not that deep to me, but if you are someone who literally can't live without your eggs in the morning, I think they also do vegan eggs at certain places, but I don't know if Tesco do. So for sweeter toppings, we have got marmalade, We've got strawberry conserve or jam. Majority of them will be vegan. Like there's not really going to be milk or anything in this. Peanut butter is a big one that I feel like most people know is vegan. I personally don't like peanut butter at all. I'll only have it in like small amounts in like chocolate or in ice cream or something, but I'm just not a fan. But yeah, that's another one. Beans and spaghetti hoops are also vegan. And look at this little tin. They're so affordable. So you don't have to feel like you can't have a hot filling meal with something on toast. You still can. Obviously, you can have like vegan cheese on toast too. But I personally don't really like cheese. So I didn't get any vegan cheese. Okay, so this isn't the cheapest. But I feel like mayo is not the cheapest in general. But I feel like this is a staple thing that you have to invest in. And let me tell you, I am so impressed by the taste of this. I thought it was going to taste really like not flavoursome and not eggy at all. And whilst... And whilst... And whilst it doesn't taste eggy, I feel like it kind of tastes better than normal mayo, which I didn't expect because I love the taste of normal mayo, but it just smells quite strong of something, but I don't know what. But it really upsets me that they don't do a light mayo. I'm hoping in the future they will release that because 98 calories for a tablespoon, that's barbaric. What, for sauce? Like, no. But yeah, it tastes so good. And obviously you don't have to miss mayonnaise if you have this. So obviously most fruit and veg is vegan, you have no problems there. I do recommend cauliflower in particular though because I feel like it's quite a versatile thing. You can cook them as big as you want, as small as you want. And I've recently tried cauliflower rice, I will never go back. Although I love my rice like a curry and stuff, honestly, try cauliflower rice. It saves you so many calories and you can have so much of it and it's still so low in calories. And I thought at first, like I put my nose up at it and I was just like, mm, that's gonna taste horrible. The shop bought one, yeah, I think it tastes like farts. Not that I know what farts, you know, like the smell of farts. <laughs> Farts, you know how cauliflower smells a bit off, but um, make it yourself with a blender. Oh my God, add seasoning. It's amazing. This brings me on to my favorite vegan meal, which is so peng and so filling. So it's cauliflower rice, like have half a cauliflower, grind it up, put some seasoning, salt, pepper, whatever you want. Oh, put your spinach in below that and then falafels. I used to say falafel, don't know why. Um, falafels are such a great snack, but I don't rate them when they're cold, but if you heat it up, Till they're crispy on the outside they are unreal and i know that they can be very dry which is why i recommend having sweet chili sauce on them and your hummus which is my other thing so with this salad you have the cauliflower rice you have your spinach and then i want to make it look all pretty so i have like different sections for the salads so like beetroot sweet corn cucumber whatever a big slab of hummus love hummus got different flavors in this one as well they're quite affordable and then dumping four of these. These are not the cheapest, but I feel like they're not something I'd have every day. So that would last me like two meals or three, or I could just have a couple for a snack. I just feel like they're versatile as a snack or in a meal. Let's talk snacks, the best part. If you like jammy dodgers, like I do, jammy dodgers are vegan. Um, they come in these little snack packs, so you get four baby ones, and it's just so nice for like portion control, so you can't eat the whole pack. And yeah, so if you didn't know, a very normal kind of childhood known snack is vegan. Along with this one, which I feel like is more commonly known, Oreos, which, yeah, I have delved into them as well. Um, Oreos are peng, put them in some vegan milk, um, make Oreo mug cake, which I still need to make because that looks so good. But yeah, Oreos are vegan, so you don't have to go and get all this fancy vegan chocolate, which in my opinion, I don't like the taste of vegan chocolate. I think it tastes like worse than the cheap, cheap chocolate. Now for crisps, some are vegan, some aren't. You kind of have to have a little rummage, but if you like pom bears, Bunny Bites taste exactly the same and I think they're probably cheaper. I don't know what to say about them, like they're just nice. So yeah, affordable vegan crisps. I feel like this is another well-known one, but if you didn't know, Lotus Spread is vegan and it's lethal. Once you start, you can't stop and you feel so sick. Um, or is that just me? <laughs> Obviously you can put this on toast. You can find a vegan waffle or crepe or pancake recipe. It is crepe, not crepe. Um, and put it on that like it's just so versatile. This is actually making me so hungry. If you're a cereal fan, like I am a cereal fanatic, 
there are some vegan cereals. Admittedly, <laughs> Weed Spix might seem quite boring to a lot of people, but I think it is such a nice one. And obviously healthy, because I know if I get a sugary one, I'll just eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and that's not what I want. Also, Pride is vegan, which is amazing. You can have it as a nice hearty winter breakfast to fill you up. It's got really good nutrients in it. If you want to put some lotus spread in, or like peanut butter or something, topped with some fruit. I personally am not a fan of anything on it, apart from golden syrup, but you do you. You can get really creative with it. And yeah, these are really affordable, or to make it even cheaper, just just get a bag of plain oats so these type of things are staples that you can have in your meal so we've got chickpeas if you want like a bean type dish or like chickpea soup is that a thing or like curries and then we've also got chopped tomatoes which i feel like form the base of so many things you can have spag bol because they have vegan mints i haven't bought that personally but i use chopped tomatoes for a lot of things something that i love to have for my lunch is sandwich balls with some ham but i cook this um it's not actually made to cook but it cooks fine you just cook it until it goes brown and kind of crispy or how you like it I pop it in the sandwich bowl, put some spinach in if I'm trying to be healthy, add some mayo in, a side of the bunny bites, done. But yeah, hopefully me showing you some of my stuff from my vegan order is giving you more confidence to go ahead with Veganuary. If you are on a tighter budget or you just feel so overwhelmed by all the food choices, you don't have to go for the most expensive things. Of course, if you want to treat yourself, go get some ice cream for a fiver, like that's fine. But I'm just trying to show you that you can make meals with foods that you're already familiar with. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to subscribe. It means the world to me and click the bell to be notified every single time I post. And I will see you next week with my next upload. Bye guys.